Did you know you don't always need an alternate airport in your flight plan? And that sometimes you need two of them? Let's talk about alternate fuel when it's actually required and all regulations around it. Alternate fuel is the fuel you'd need to go from your destination to your alternate airport in case you can't land as planned. It includes a missed approach at destination, climb to cruise, cruise to alternate and descent and landing at alternate. You're allowed to fly without an alternate in just two specific cases. Case one, isolated aerodrome. If you're flying to an airport with no suitable diversion options, known as an isolated aerodrome, you can plan no alternate, but you must carry additional fuel to allow two hours of holding at 1,500 feet above the airport in ISA conditions. Case two, good weather exemption. If your flight time is less than six hours, there are two separate runways at destination and the weather forecast at ETA plus or minus one hour shows conditions above planning minima. Then you can also dispatch with no alternate aerodrome. And when you must file two alternates on your flight plan. You must file two alternate aerodromes when the destination weather is forecast to be below planning minima for one hour before and one hour after your ETA, or when no meteorological information is available for the destination at all. If you want to learn more about fuel planning, we have a full video in our channel that explains everything you need to know. Don't forget to subscribe and comments, and until next time.